Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is by Spontaneous Combustible Games, and it's called Welterweights. Welterweights is a two-player game. It takes about 25 to 30 minutes to play, and it's for ages 12 and up. In the game Welterweights, you're playing as a boxer, and you're competing in an event, or basically a tournament, of which you're going to have a left-hand deck and a right-hand deck of cards. You'll be able to select from either of those decks because you're going to be utilizing them to make combinations, hopefully, to do damage to your opponent. Now, your opponent's going to be able to dodge or, of course, to block your hits, and if they do that, they're going to stop damage being dealt to them. However, if you can land your, those punches and avoid their blocks and dodges, they're going to take dazed card. Dazed cards are basically going to limit the amount of actions they're going to be able to take, as well as potentially knocking them down if they're not able to draw any more dazed cards and put them into their deck, or if they simply have a full hand of dazed cards. There's three rounds to the game, which will be tracked by this round marker here that moves around like that, and each of the rounds is going to have five turns and or five minutes going from five all the way down so it simulates basically boxing in those five minute periods or increments per round you also get to choose between a bunch of different boxers that all have their own unique abilities and of course after uh, having two knockdowns we hit that third one you will hit a tko and that can be a way to win the game otherwise at the end of the game if you are able to maximize your amount of points so getting 25 you're going to win the game welterweights game by joshua gardner and uh abby Kelly. let's go ahead and take a look at what you get and a good idea of how to play the game so here we have welterweights and everything included in the game and of course you'll be getting this box along with the rules and then each player is going to get their set of cards their sets of cards come with a left and a right hand deck for each of the players along with a stack of dazed cards these are the way you'll be putting into your deck that you have to draw periodically throughout the game as you get hit and of course your score which goes from 1 to 25, and these little extra dazed areas there, and your combos, where you can do specifically either more, uh, faster uh, damage, or sorry, more damage, or faster punches, uh, along with, of course, a movement tracker that illustrates how many points you're getting in the game. There's a turn marker here, which goes from 5 all the way to 1, and round marker, which you can go ahead and just turn for round 1. Over here, each player is also going to get a knockout to TKO, knockout score and tracker, which means that you're going to be getting uh, these little bonus points here, which can eventually make you get knocked out if you are not careful throughout the game. So you do not want to actually push this across, but it's likely to happen. These are the six different characters you can choose in the game, and each of them have their own unique abilities. For instance, this guy here says, or this gal here who says, says, once per round, you can flip this card over to peek at your opponent's next card, and then you can go ahead and rearrange your hand. Pretty, pretty cool there. So each player is going to basically be getting to choose one of these characters here and just go ahead and place it in front of that character or player. And then you're gonna go ahead and remove the rest of them, not gonna be needed for the game. You won't need the rules or the booklet, uh, the uh, box pride you know how to play. Starting with, from uh, starting from the starting of the game, going to round one, starting with a turn marker at five minutes. And then of course, set your uh, combo and score marker aside. You probably won't be using it all that much during the game, but uh, when the rounds end or whenever you score a hit, you will be moving up that score marker. And if you progressively uh, get those combos correct, you're going to be getting the uh, bonuses that they provide as well. You're going to shuffle both the left and right hand decks and put them next to you so that each player has them available to them. And each of the decks have different things they can do, but the right handed decks are usually going to be the ones that do some more uh, serious damage, or, or at least one of the decks, however you want to look at it, uh, will be doing the more serious damage because of the way, that, way that the characters work, basically how fighting works in general. Set the dazed cards aside, and then it's ready to go. So you're first going to be doing this little uh, mechanically drafting game, which you're going to be drawing from either the left or uh, the right-handed uh, side of cards. You're going to then take these four cards. You have to select one, two, or three of them and put them into your hand, discarding the rest face up based on the decks. This is the left-handed deck, so it's going to go face up on the bottom of the left-handed deck there. And uh, after that, then your opponent will do the same thing. And then once again, you'll do that again, uh, however you want. And then you're going to look at them and select again. You, can, you have to have four cards in your hand, and you must have at least one card from each of the decks. So you can have two and two, one and three, in any combination thereof. So maybe we'll go with this one and this one. Then we'll go ahead and put the rest of these guys back on the bottom. After that, each player has drafted. You're going to start the first turn off by organizing these cards in any way you want. Um, of course, in that order, it's going to determine uh, whether your opponent gets hit or not. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, do this again for this one really quick here. I'll put these in the back here. This is left. And then we're going to go ahead and do two more. Or three more, I should say. And select two more. And then we have a left and... Oh, sorry. A left and a right. The guy's going to go face up. 
That way you know when the deck's ending. Okay, good. Then, of course, you're gonna set the order however you want. Maybe you wanna do a dodge, a block, a cross, and a dodge. However you wanna do, that's fine. On each of the cards, it's gonna tell you the speed, and that's going to tell you if it's right or if it's left. Now, if you're dodging to the left and they're punching you in the left, you're gonna get hit. Or if you're dodging the right and you move to the right, you're also going to get hit. So you have to try and uh, you have to try and dodge the punch. So see if he's hitting you on the left and you dodge to the right, uh, that might be okay. It's going to be just based on the character's positioning too. So after that, we'll go ahead and just put these in some order, put them face down, um, and then the other player will do the same thing. And then you're going to start by flipping these these things over, uh, whether it be left or right. So in this circumstance, he would go right cross. And uh, this circumstance, you do a left jab. And so they're actually hitting the same way. And these guys would actually hit that same way, which could either reflect in uh, not doing damage because they both basically hit each other kind of thing. Or um, or if it was the opposite way, one, they would both hit each other. So you, you're trying to daze your opponent. But in this case, they, they're both smacking each other. And these would go. And then uh, we just leave them there, I guess. And then you go ahead and flip over another side here. Okay, so we have a right cross, which would be on this side, actually. And then we have a right block. So that would actually block that cross. You can also remember to look at the combos here. It tells you if you're if you manage to do certain things like if you do a jab into a cross, then your cross is going to have one uh, is going to reduce the uh, the length of the punch, which is good. Uh, punch, 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 which means your third punch is also uh, minus a speed. If you dodge twice and up do a punch, that punch is going to have one additional power, which is a damage. And then dodge uppercut will give you an uppercut speed of minus one as well. So that's useful as well. Okay, so that's the idea, right? And you're just going to keep going through here. Uh, so this haymaker hits on the right, and this dodge uh, goes to the right. So in this circumstance, he'd be hitting this way, and he would actually he managed to dodge it, so he wouldn't take any damage as well. And then you flip over again, a left uppercut and a, a right dodge. So he actually dodged into the uppercut, thus inflicting one damage to him. White's score goes to one, and after that, these would get discarded, and you would start again the next round, and you continue doing that. Now, on the scoreboard over here, the score tracker, as you go down this tracker, you're gonna take, your opponent's gonna take dazed, thing, dazed markers into his deck. Also, because yellow hit blue here, he's also gonna take a dazed and put it into one of his decks, or into this card pile, which will be shuffled into his decks. And, um, once you get to 25 points, you can win the game. Now, also note that if you draw four dazed cards, that is going to actually um, make you get uh, you have it take a knockdown. It can also uh, end a round. And after you've finished going through all five of these turns and five of the different uh, different uh, back and forths, then uh, you're going to shuffle your decks back together again. You can discard a dazed card, and you would go on to the next round. You'd play three rounds out. If somebody manages to get TKO'd, but because they uh, simply have to draw a dazed card, and they, uh, and they don't have one from this deck, that can ensue a knockdown. Or if they have four cards in hand that are dazes, then that would also ensue a knockdown. And if you do your third knockdown, that's TKO, and the other player instantly wins. So being mindful of how many dazes you have in your deck is important. Another thing to note, too, is you can play daze in your me mechanisms by simply placing it down in, in an order, and then your opponent, and you would flip them over. If you played a daze and they played a block, then you're simply removing this card. You're getting to get rid of it, which is really good. However, if you're dazed and they hit you to the left, you're actually going to just take that damage, thus resulting in you getting a Deus card and then scoring a point. So you have to be very aware of that. The last thing to note, too, is on the character cards, you're going to go ahead and flip these guys over at, per round and utilize their ability, thusly changing the way your cards are face or oriented based in uh, the order of you place them. And you can also look at your opponent's cards, which is pretty cool. But that's the basic idea of the game. It's mechanical, in which you're going to be putting down certain cards in a certain order. And then it's round and turn based, uh, where you're trying to knock down your opponent or gain 25 points points and also increasing the amount of uh, Deus cards they get into their deck, making it more difficult for them to utilize different abilities and whatnot. And uh, that is the game Welterweights by Spontaneous Combustible Games, or Spontaneously Combustible Games. All right, let's come up and talk about it. All right, so just before we get into the review of the game, there's a couple things I wanted to clarify. The first thing is when you're drafting cards, you choose either the left or the right, and then you select up to, uh, you can select four cards from that, that side, and you can select one, two, or three, and you can go, then you can go back and forth with the left or the right hand deck. But the same rules apply as far as anything else. You just have to select one deck. You can't go two left, two right, and then look and pick. You select all the left, select how many you want, 
put it down, then select the next deck, select how many you want, put it down, so rinse and repeat till you have those four cards um, from each of the deck, from, uh, from a total from each of the decks. Another thing to note too is when I was doing an uppercut with a jab, they hit each other on the same side. Well, what happens too is you have to notice the speed, which I talked about a little bit, but I didn't explain in the ex example. This guy's speed is one and this one is two, thusly the jab is going to land. The jab has a zero damage though, so no daze mark is going to go into your opponent's deck. However, your opponent is going to score a point on you if they land that jab, as opposed to the uppercut. Uh, another thing to note too is when you discard days, I say you discard days uh, when you get them, you have to discard it into that side specifically that, that you took the damage on, just to clarify that up. But for the most part, otherwise, that's how you play the game. Just wanted to make sure you guys got a full idea of what's going on there. Um, so, welterweights. Well, the first thing is I look at the artwork and the presentability. Uh, it's got one of these little small tuck box things. That I'm not a huge fan of these things, and as you can tell, it's already been. Uh, it's already been a little, a little messed up. This is, I believe, a Kickstarter game, so I'm not sure what it's going to come with and how it's going to look uh, as far as presentation goes there. But from what I have, I prefer it to be in actually one of the smaller, uh, more condensed box sizes like this guy here. Um, all of the cards are nice quality, and they have cool little graphic designs. It looks like they have little different, uh, f basic different um, fists and whatnot as far as the hitting goes, but they're all the same graphics, so hopefully, or a lot of them are very similar, like the jab and the uppercut are, and the uh, haymaker. So I'd like to see more art involved in those cards. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the art for the, the boxers themselves. They're pretty simplistic in nature, and... Uh, I don't know if I could actually draw these, but I probably could come pretty close. And so that's usually how I determine if I don't like art. <laughs> I'm not a very, like, art is not my forte. But otherwise, it's, the art's fine. Now, the quality is fine. The tuck box is not very good. Um, the gameplay now. So it's mechanical, first of all. You're going to be selecting cards from left and right, put, making yourself this, this four-card uh, turn, in which you'll be going down in the count of minutes for the theme of the game, and you'll be flipping, going left and right, dodging and juking. You actually kind of do feel like you're like, okay, I got dodge left, dodge right, and then I'm going to go ahead and do an uppercut, and that's going to give me minus one speed, and you know, it has that those combos in there, which is super fun, and you do feel that as you're playing the game. And you're also worried about what your opponent has in their deck, how they're utilizing things, and you notice as they're putting more cards, maybe they're searching for something specifically maybe you've dazed them a bunch and you have to wonder are they just putting a bunch of dazes in to get them removed or are they actually going to be tricking me and doing a bunch of punches and i've been wasting my time um i was wasting my time trying to smack him back um and because of that i lost an opportunity to make him get even more days him or her um the also, the scoring is pretty cool because throughout the scoring, you had little extra days as you can add to your opponents as you score more points. The character special ability is fine. They all have the same one, and I imagine it's probably going to be different in the campaign. However, I'm not sure. I'd like to see them all having their own unique one. Um, it's interesting because it's mechanical, and then it's got this like back and forth kind of round motion. The theme really fits with this one. Of all the fighting games I've played, this one actually is probably the most thematic in terms of you feel like you're up in there and you're hitting your opponent and oh, you're getting dazed. The third round is really sluggish because you're like barely got any abilities left and you're super dazed and you're worried about drawing that fourth daze card. You don't want to draw through your deck too much because if you do that, it's going to make you uh, suffer by not having as many moves to utilize and so you're both kind of like on that last teeter-totter and you've also got this knockdown counter which you also have to be very careful of because when you're running out of uh dazed cards you have to be careful of how you want to go ahead and progress um each of the fighters can have their own unique types of uh attacks and whatnot i imagine in in the campaign they're going to have different things going on with each fighter kind of giving them their own unique aspects to it and uh, i like all that it all works really well i think it's a lot of fun it's a two-player game so it's one of those games where you're going to go ahead and sit there and uh and pretty much play a 25 to 30 minute game, which is right on the money for the amount of time it takes to play the game. And if you like mechanical games, you want to play with two players, it involves a little bit of strategy, a little bit of luck as far as how you're dodging and moving, because it's a little bit of bluffing, then you're going to enjoy this game. For those of you who don't like two player games all that much or want this to be more of a player game, I don't think it's going to be able to do that necessarily. Uh, there's always a way, right? But not specifically for this game. And also, if you don't like the style of the artwork, or maybe the fact that it's kind of it's kind of luck based at the beginning, based on how you want to maneuver your character, uh, you're not going to know necessarily what your opponents are playing unless you utilize your one ability for the round. And that's a dangerous thing to utilize at the beginning because you kind of want to save that to really, really influence what you're about to do. 
overall, it's a fun little game, and it's something I definitely suggest you checking out if you like two-player strategical games. Welterweight uh, by Spontaneously Combustible Games. That's a cool little card game. I'm excited to see what they come out with next, but if you're interested in it, go ahead and check out the description below, and go ahead and decide to back it on, I think it's on Kickstarter, and it'll be down there to show you or not. But anyway, thank you for watching, and as always, I look forward to seeing you next time.